hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele with this amazingly delicious jollof rice and chicken recipe using our all-purpose stew oh my goodness you do not want to miss this it is a definite must try let's get started i'm going to begin by blending together some onion ginger garlic and habanero pepper i'll just go ahead and add that into my blender to that i'll add some rosemary and anise seed and i'll blend it until it is nice and smooth i'll then add that into my chicken and season it with some all-purpose seasoning and also some salt to taste i'll give it a very good stir cover it and allow it to marinate for about an hour i'll then go ahead and separate it into two and i'll steam it in batches somehow again i've lost a clip <laughs> but it is okay i'll make a special video just for that for you all but i don't want my chicken to tear apart in the steaming process so i'll divide it in half and steam it that way everything will stay together just like this so it is done and i'm going to go ahead and pour the stock into our all-purpose stew if you have not seen the stew recipe i'll leave the link in the description box for you to check out so please you need to watch that recipe because it makes your life a lot easier on those busy busy nights i'll then give this a good good stir cover it up and bring it to a boil once it boils i'll add in our chicken allow it to cook for about three minutes before transferring it onto our sheets tray and into a 350 degree fahrenheit oven and i'll bake it for about 20 to 30 minutes remember this is already halfway cooked so we just want to crisp it up meanwhile i'll get started with the rice and i'll measure about 14 cups of rice my family is heading over here so i had to make something delicious for them so once i've measured out my rice i will wash it until the water runs clear this will help all the starch or almost all the starch come off our rice and it'll also help us get single grain rice so yeah that's all i'm doing we're gonna wash the rice <laughs> Once we're done, I'm going to go ahead and transfer our rice into our stew. But before then, I set some of it aside so that it does not become too much. You never want to use too much stew for your rice. Once you stir, you may add more if you need to. But if you use too much stew from the beginning, you stand a chance of having very mushy rice and we do not want that one so i'll add some salt to taste because as the rice swells you may lose some of the salt in it so always adjust your salt once you've added your rice and given it a nice stir and as you saw i added more stew because it wasn't enough okay this is how you want to go. You don't want to start with too much, as I said. And I'll stir it very well before adding in some water to loosen it up beautifully so that the rice will be free in there. You don't want them to be struggling with each other. Also, the amount of water you add to your jollof rice depends on the type of rice you're using. If it is basmati, it may need more. But jasmine... Mm -mm. a little too much will just ruin it for you totally i'll then cover it with parchment paper and then our lid i'll cover it and bring it to a boil once it boils i'll lower the heat and allow it to cook until the water is out like this and then i'll give it a good stir so that the steam can go through and through and cook 
cook our rice to perfection. Remember, it is the steam that is cooking your rice, not the water. All right. And somebody had left a comment that we do not stir rice. Oh, no, we don't stir white rice when we're cooking it. But with jollof rice, please do stir. Otherwise, it will not come out right. I usually like to stir it in the beginning the middle and at the end so i am back for the middle staring and oh my goodness everywhere is smelling so good this was so delicious so please be sure to check out that recipe of how i made this delicious stew that we're baking our chicken with and making our jollof as well so after giving it a stir as you can see some of it are still white so instead of sprinkling the water on top i just added the condensation water in the middle and covered it immediately and that should take care of those white parts okay and i'm back once again to stir as you can see our jollof looks good and it is ready but i'll give it about five more minutes and i'll turn the fire up so that it could burn a little bit to give me that smoky flavor okay <laughs> it's optional i want this to be like that because i want my guests to have a taste of home now let's go check on our chicken and oh my goodness it is looking good it is ready so we will set it aside and we are back to our jollof rice oh my goodness just look at that mm, mm, mm. Always remember to get rid of your star anise because you do not want any of your guests to chew on it. It is not pleasant in your mouth. Our jollof rice is ready. We have the smoky flavor that we're going for. It is perfectly single grained. All that is left is for me to make my guests happy today. So we will serve and enjoy i also made some cucumber salad which was so so delicious my hubby really enjoyed this and the kids they went in on the jollof and chicken please make your stew so you can make this deliciousness for your family or for the festive season that is coming up don't you just want to jump into this plate you are invited let us all enjoy this together thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all but i want y'all to check out how super juicy this chicken is it's so so juicy and delicious be sure to try this recipe and you will not regret it bye y'all